Right click to summon an army of unburied. Oh my goodness. Yo, they fight for me? That's kind of cool. Oh no. Hello and welcome back to Meatball Craft. We're up to episode five. And in this episode, I'm keen to sort out storage for all the stuff that we're going to get from this mob grinder. You can see here, it's, it's, I mean, there's a few other things that I've thrown in here, but it's going to be a lot of, of random items. So it's going to be quite the storage. And of course, to store all those items, we're going to use drawers. So that's these storage drawers. And pretty much started off with, they're going to need a lot of wood. So I figured I'll make a lumber axe from Tinkers. I've got everything here. I pretty much made it out of cobalt for the head, just because that's the fastest I could see that we have at the moment. And then rosite for both the large plate and the binding, just because they add modifiers. And then of course our dragon bone tough tool rod for the handle, just because it has a decent durability and modifier value there. Uh, so there we go. Cobalt rosite lumber axe. Now this comes with four modifiers. We need five to make it unbreakable, but we've got a bunch of redstone, so I might actually just throw a bunch of speed on it. Uh, we can get cobalt pretty easily, so I think the speed will be more important at this point. That's pretty quick. And there we go. Some solid deforestation. Got a heap of wood now. All the spruce here. Uh, and some in my bag as well. So hopefully that'll last us a while. So to move these items, I'm thinking we'll go with item ducts at this point. And I'll throw a hardened servo on it. Uh, or maybe even just a, a basic servo because uh, it extracts eight at a time mm, extraction rate of three seconds yeah i'm not sure if that's going to be enough we can always switch to a, a hardened uh, if we need to because it's just some invar it's pretty straightforward uh but the regular item duct as it is it's just lead and tin which is super easy we should have a bunch of these Ooh, running low on the old tin I'll just make a bunch for now. And then the servo is just iron, redstone, and glass. I'll just grab two for now. Because we're only pulling out of out of one thing. Thinking I might as well just upgrade this servo to a hardened one straight away. Now, the other thing I want to make is a draw controller. And this is pretty straightforward, just some drawers, stone, diamond, and redstone comparators. I think I've got everything here. Just need to make a bunch of redstone torches for the comparators. And there we go, draw controller. You see I've already set it up here with a bunch of the sort of main items we seem to be getting from this mob farm. If I put the draw controller down here, it should mean that anything I pipe into here will end up in the drawers. I'll just do this for now. And if we throw the servo on there, set the redstone to ignored, it should just start pulling everything out. Oh yeah, it's pulling the torches there out, slowly but surely. Now these small drawers, they hold a decent amount. Uh, I think you can hold eight stacks per item. Which, for things like torches, which it seems like, for some reason, we're getting so much of in this mob crusher. Uh, it won't last very long. So, for some of the items that we seem to be getting a heap of, I might change to the bigger drawers, or maybe I'll just try and pile the upgrades on. 
we are actually getting heaps of diamond from this mob farm, so maybe I'll just use those to make a ton of diamond upgrades instead. Just had a thought of, I wonder if we can put this spectre coil on the front. If that's going to work. Just because that means we have an extra slot on the back here that we can pull the liquid out of. I mean, that seems to have worked. Sweet. So Spectacle's on the front, powering it. Still manages to kill everything. And we can pull the items and the fluid out the back and the bottom. How's this going with these, these items? It's getting through them. We'd probably have to upgrade the servo even more to get uh, everything through as fast as it grabs it. But yeah, these non-stackables are what's going to be, what's going to be interesting. I mean, I'll trash all of the bow and arrow, probably even the hose and armor and stuff that comes in. I'm tempted to keep the enchanted books just because they're enchanted books, but yeah, I'm not sure. I'll see, I'll see how many we end up getting because this thing hasn't been running very long and we've got so much in here, so we might have to toss those too. So you can see I added some more drawers. I think we've got everything in here that was stackable from here. I'm not sure about these few things. I'll I'll see when I run this a bit longer uh, how much more stuff we get. Now I'd like to put some void upgrades on these and also some capacity upgrades so they can hold more than just the eight stacks. And since we get diamonds from this, I was thinking the diamond upgrades are probably going to be a good bet since we'll be able to make a bunch of those. Now I think I'm going to take a little break from sorting that stuff out down there and I'm gonna do a bit of exploring. The main thing I'd like to find is some moss stone because we use this to make balls of moss which we can use to make mossy grave dust uh, which is our first boss fight which would be pretty sweet. So I'm mainly looking for yeah mossy cobblestone. <laughs> Literally been exploring for like three seconds. So now that we have enough moss stone, thing is time for our first uh, boss fight. I'm gonna need eight of these balls of moss and if I surround a graves dust with those look at that mossy grave dust right click for our first boss fight uh, and to be honest I'm pretty confident I'm pretty confident. I feel like I'm just going to spawn this bad boy and wreck it and that'll be it. Uh, I guess I'll just do it here. Oh wow, that's a big boy. He is healthier and bigger than I thought he would be, so... Look at that. <laughs> uh, it was close. We lost the lost a few hearts there, but not too bad. It's definitely healthier than I expected. Uh, and I think if I hadn't killed it as fast as that, it would have been an issue. That's cool. We got a mossy stick. Um sweet <laughs> and 
and sentient meatball. Uh, I'm not sure what these are. Oh. <laughs> these can make armor or digital organic currency. Lore of the Meatball Man. Wow, cool. Throw this in the random things that we don't know about yet chest, <laughs> which is growing significantly. Uh, I figured I might have a look at this quest, but see, uh, see what rewards we've got. Uh, I got some black chicken eggs, so gave us some more chicken eggs. We did that mossy grave dust. Uh, oh, that gives us an alchemical chest. That's pretty sweet. And then of course the sentient meatball that we got, uh, which gives us a meatball encounter of the third kind and engraved thunder. Looks like a wild stuff. Give it a go. Uh, I did make the machine frame, which gives us a red heart canister. Uh, we made a thermal machine frame, which gives us another red heart canister. And some cooked parasites. Draws. Hand framing tool, golden stake. And we have looted skeletons of all the dragons now. Uh, so we have their trophies, even though we haven't really killed them ourselves. Our trophies can go here. All the dragons slayed. Meatball encounter of the third kind. And our chemical chest. It's pretty great that we got one of those. Pretty big. What's this engraved thunder? Well, that's kind of cool. Means we can, uh... Strike things with lightning. Could be useful. And a couple more red heart canisters to increase our health a bit. So in order to get this storage sorted out, I'm thinking that we should start making some progression with Ender IO so that we can get these item conduits, fluid conduits, energy conduits, you know, the usual. To get into this, I think we're going to need to make a simple alloy smelter and I might as well make a sterling generator too. And for those, we need a simple machine chassis, uh, which is just a bunch of iron and these grains of infinity. And grains of infinity we should be able to get by just lighting this bedrock on fire, I think. I think it's a percentage chance, so. There we go. That's what we want. Last one. Surely. Hey, there we go. Uh, so I'll just keep doing this until, probably till I use up this flint and steel. See how many we get. So we got a bunch of it. 25, pretty good. I'll grab some iron. Did I have some bars made up already? Yeah, a few. And I'll make a couple of these simple machine chassis. And then for the sterling generator, we need a couple infinity bimetal gears, which also use that grains of infinity. Everything else is pretty straightforward. Pistons, stone, furnace, that kind of thing. And the aloe smelter uses more furnaces, a bucket, uh, and Constantin, which we haven't made yet. Uh, but this is just a alloy of nickel and copper. And I should have a bunch of that here that I've merged together in the smeltery. So there we go. That should be that should be both machines. I think the alloy smelter is crafted in the crafting table, and then the sterling generator is crafted in the the basic crafting table. So we got those, it's pretty good. Generator, alloy smelter. So these are the, the super basic Ender IO machines and I should be able to put a Ender Pearl and an iron into this alloy smelter 
and that should get us the pulsating iron we need for these item conduits. The other thing of course we need is the conduit binder and conduit binder composite which is just made from sand, gravel and clay. Same things we used to make the uh, smeltery actually, the grout. That should be enough stuff to make a bunch of conduit binder composite. Oh, look at that, stack and a half. So we'll get these all smelting. And our, uh, our pulsating iron's finished. So we can turn that into nuggets. And that, of course, will be used to make the item conduits. I'm stoked to be getting these. These are really good. Other thing, of course, is the pressurized fluid conduits that we need to make. Uh, you can make regular fluid conduits, but the fluid flow respects gravity. And it's a little bit, it's a little bit annoying. So I would like to make the pressurized ones if I can. We've got the conduit binder smelting. I just need to make some fused quartz. Nice, there's a couple, smelting a couple more. And then for the energy conduits, this is the most basic tier, but I think that'll be enough for now. Like this only generates 30 per tick, and this can transfer 640, so I'm sure for now that'll be that'll be fine. And for that we need conductive iron, which I'm pretty sure is just redstone and iron. Yeah. Sweet, we've got a ton of this conduit binder that's done. Almost all of it, really. So I can make the item conduits. We'll make 24 for now. And we'll just make eight of the pressurized fluid conduits. We're needing one more conductive iron. And there it is. So we can turn that into eight of the energy conduits. The other thing I did make is these basic item filters. Not sure how big they are, so they might not be too useful, but I figured I'll, I'll make some anyway in case they are. So time to replace all these, all these old item ducts. We can put our new fancy conduits down. I think I set this for insert. Leave the priority as it is, leave the channel as it is. And then on this one, if I can reach it, I don't think I can. I'll put it on the back for now. We want this to extract on green and we want it to be always active. So that should pull stuff out. And it should put stuff in here if it can. Now, I wonder if I can do the priorities here. I'm thinking we want to go insert. I'll throw a filter in. I'll put a single enchanted book and we can ignore metadata. So hopefully that means that all the enchanted books should end up in here. The items that can go into the drawers will end up in the drawers. I'm going to move this over to here and plug it in so that we can see if it works. Always active. Yeah, I mean, so far so good, right? It's pulling out all the books. Cool, that, that already works so much better and we've got all our books in here. So now we just need to deal with uh, all these non-stackables and these few items that can stack but aren't in our system yet. So I've moved the enchantment storage over here for now and just put that filter back in. So we should get all the enchanted books in here. I also made a trash can. And so of course this should pretty much take anything that we don't want. And 
I think I will need to make a filter for this. So I've got the other filter here, put it in, and I want to filter bows. Uh, leather tunics for now, golden leggings and golden boots. I imagine there'll be more of this kind of stuff that we keep getting, but I'll just try and put it in as we find it. Uh, we can make advanced item filters and large item filters, but they require some things that are a bit beyond us at the moment. That's right. Uh, we want it to ignore metadata. And I mean, while we're here, I might as well just throw these into the trash can because we do not need those. Switch this to insert. As long as we've got the filter there and it's on whitelist, I think we're all right. I don't think anything else will end up in the trash can. Uh, I'm gonna turn this bad boy on and see, see what else we get. See if the uh, item transfer keeps up. <laughs> and that's a note. Torches, why do we get so many torches? That's what's kind of clogging it up. Uh, Ender pearls. I did wonder whether we were getting those or not. Oh, there's an item. Midnight Morn. I haven't seen any. Of, I haven't seen that before. Right click to summon an army of unburied. Oh my goodness. Yo, Do they fight for me. That's kind of cool. Oh no. Well, so have a look at making some speed upgrades. It looks like we need iron, piston, redstone, which is pretty straightforward. But then we do need this electrical steel, which is made with silicon, coal, and iron. Silicon is made from smelting. Ooh, quartz dust. Yeah, that's kind of the only thing. Mm, okay, that might be a little bit expensive for us at the moment. I don't think we have much quartz. Might have to go to the nether and mine up some quartz. It looks like we do have a bit more quartz than I thought. I was able to I was able to break apart the blocks of quartz that we had. Now, if you remember, I think we found them around a beehive in the nether. So I'm gonna throw these into the crusher that we have down here. Get those a crushing because we want to smelt up the crushed quartz to get silicon. And then of course the silicon with coal and iron. We gotta pulverize the coal too, so it'll be a bunch of crushing. Actually figured we might as well use our uh, leftover item ducts here. to automatically throw the coal into this when it's done. And might as well use it to pull out of the bottom as well. Hopefully that will only pull out the things we want. I'll uh, give it this as a whitelist anyway. Yep, that seems to be working. Uh, so we can just leave this going. It'll eventually get through the nether quartz and then get through the coal, I think. And while that's doing its thing, I thought I might look more into the the puzzling the puzzling puzzle uh, with those mushrooms. So it was saying here combine the glow shroom terrarium with the right four mushrooms. So we've got the right four mushrooms if you remember those are these four here, and we need to combine that with a terrarium, specifically a glow shroom terrarium, and glow shrooms come from pretty sure we had some of those around where we got the mushrooms actually yeah i've got some there and we just need an empty jar which is just glass but we need this overgrown stone and i'm actually not quite sure where this appears so we might have to go find it but the other thing as well is that i think we will need silk touch to actually pick it up but we should be able to actually get silk touch now that we have an emerald I grab some gold and we've got a heap of string here. I think I can make, yeah, four of these silky cloth. 
And then those with an emerald should give us a silky jewel. And we've got one modifier slot left on our advanced alloy pickaxe here, so might as well add it on. There we go, silk touch on our pickaxe. Now, before I go out looking for this overgrown stone, uh, I wouldn't mind trying to repair this ender wing. So this is what can teleport us home. And so if I put a mending enchantment on this, and then I make an XP drain, throw this on top of the tank, I can drain some XP into the tank, and we can use that to fix the ender wing prime. Good as new. Gotta keep that in mind. I assume that works for any mending items actually. Uh, the other thing I made was a sleeping mat, which we can use to sleep when we're out and about, that won't reset our spawn point like we did last time. All right, I uh, made some bread because we were running a bit low on food. And so, so I was just thinking, where on earth am I going to get overgrown stone? So I thought I might just have a look in the nature's compass and see if there's like a biome that is to do with overgrown. And it turns out there's an overgrown cliffs. And I'd be willing to bet that that is where we find the overgrown stone. So we literally just have to head in this direction. Oh, this looks promising. Overgrown stone, there we go. Well, that was easy. And with that, I mean, we might as well just head home. I think we have everything. I'll just make this empty jar and we can make the Glowshroom Terrarium. And then if we combine this with the four mushrooms that we found at that structure, gives us the alchemical mushroom. Don't think we can really use it at this point, but good to know it exists, I guess. This was sort of just showing us that there are recipes in here like this one. Uh, which you can't actually see what the recipe is and it's kind of a puzzle. So that's cool. I like that they've added things like this into the pack to keep keep it interesting and keep you sort of exploring. It's great. Uh, for now, I'll just throw it into our natural things chest. I'll check if our crusher is done. Looks like we've got 64 crushed coal, 64 crushed quartz. Just need to smelt this quartz up. Uh, so it turns out that the coal dust we got actually doesn't work with this recipe. We have to have either coal dust from Tech Reborn or pulverized coal from Thermal Foundation. Uh, which is a little bit annoying, but uh, we can still use this crushed coal as fuel, so that's fine. I did make a pulverizer. Uh, it was a pretty straightforward recipe, just some copper diamond dust machine frame. Yeah, pretty easy. And I crushed up another stack of the coal, so we got some pulverized coal here. Uh, and this works in the electrical steel recipe. So we've got that smelting away. Yeah, this this recipe is is pretty slow. Uh, we have got eight electrical steel now though, so I will turn this into speed upgrades. And we'll go down and see how well this works. So I'm not actually sure how fast this goes. It looks like without any upgrades, it does four items per operation. If we throw an upgrade in, eight items per operation, two upgrades, 12 items per operation. So I guess it's four items per, per upgrade there. We'll see if 12 is enough. Turn this on, see if it keeps up. I mean, so far so good. The main thing is when the torches come in. 
want to see if it keeps up with those. Because the torches come in in quite big stacks, I think, so. Oh, it seems to be keeping up, though. Oh, that was a big one. Yeah, I mean, it's keeping up. Yeah, so pretty much we just need to increase what we put in the trash can. Uh, I pretty much just need a bigger filter. Looks like I can make an advanced item filter with the Z Logic controller, which is with a slice and splice. Or I think there's also a big item filter, uh, which is with the skeletal contractor, which is also with the slice and splice. So pretty much we would need to make a slice and splice to be able to make the filter bigger, which yeah. A little bit of a rabbit hole, but I'm sure we'll get there. Yeah, look at that. No items on the ground. Empty in here, other than the, the golden chest plate. And, uh, oh, so many enchanted books. Yeah, I feel like we are going to have to either find a different way to store these or throw them in the trash. I mean, once we fill this up, we can probably just throw them in the trash. Anyway. Uh, that's probably a good time to wrap up this episode. I think it'll be a little bit longer than the previous ones. Uh, but we did it. We got our got our mob crusher storage sorted. We just needed some better filters. So I'm pretty confident I can leave this running for a while. Uh, we do need to sort out what's happening with the fluid essence, but we'll do that at some point. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, especially if you made it this far. And I'll see you in the next episode.